Assalamualaikum. I am Nurul Haikal Binti Idris and this is my partner, Nurul Hanani Binti Muhammad Yusuf. Today we will present uh, about our project which is uh, the Travelling Sustainable Problem and Integer Linear Programming Formulation. So this is our presentation online which is uh, Introduction, Literature Review and Methodology. So for our uh, background of study, uh, the Travelling Sussman Problem, TSP, is the most well-known combinatorial optimization problem. TSP is used to find a routine of men who start from a home location, visit a prescribed set of city and return to the original location. It's such that the total cost or distance travel is minimized and each city is visited exactly once. It is an NP-hard problem and TSP is the most in intensively studied problem in the area of optimization. The aim of the uh, TSP is to find the cheapest way for visiting all elements in a given set of city where the cost of travel between each pair is given, including to their uh, starting point. So our problem statement is whether you are going on a holiday, traveling for business or flying off for a city break, break weekend, the cost of traveling can soon up. So we have put together a list of ways to ensure we can minimize the cost. Uh, there are many interesting places must be visited during holiday, yet there is a limitation in time for each place. So there is need of planning to overcome uh, the problem due to limitation in time or distance restriction while minimizing the cost expenses. So proceeding with our research question, uh, which is first, what is the suitable mathematical model for this travel assessment problem in order to minimize the cost? Second, how to optimize the cost span for traveling problem using integer programming model? And third, what, is, what are the alternative places that can be recommend in order to minimize the cost? So this is our research objective to answer our research question. The first one is to develop the suitable mathematical model for this traveling, traveling problem in order to minimize the cost. Second, to optimize the cost span for traveling problem using integer program models. Uh, lastly, to suggest the alternative place that can be recommended in order to minimize the cost. So our scope of study. Uh, is a uh, third year undergraduate student of SQS in UUM. This traveling problem is determined by several variables, which is type of place, time consuming for each place, personal reference, and distance restriction. Uh, the limitation for this study are for those students that are currently enrolled at UUM. Only those stu undergraduate students are allowed to take part in the research. Other than that, the respondent or the student may not be honest in answering the question that may affect the finding of the study. So this is our significance of study. The researcher believe that the use of integer programming in traveling assessment problem help in minimize the total cost for estimation during traveling. From the study, students can learn the hard way that a budget has to be one of the most important consideration when planning a vacation. So our expected finding for this project is we expect that have we expect to have a clear understanding result where we can obtain from the mathematical modeling by using integer programming. The data will be collected to make us understand the real situation of traveling problem that will be faced in order to minimize the cost of traveling. It will help students in making decisions to choose the best place to be visited because our prediction can use as a preference. As for the research design, this is our population of study which consists of students of the year of decision science undergraduate program which we use convenience of big technique to take 30 students of the third year student and then we proceed with the data collection which we going we will be undergo uh, we will do survey using online questionnaire by uh, Google Docs and we analyze the data using Excel solver. So this is the decision variable where we categorize the places into four categories, which is uh, historical places is category A, 
B is beaches, C leisure places, and D shopping places. And for each category, there is listed uh, several places to, that is suitable with the category. Which category A is Makam Masuri, Beras Terbakar, Dataran Helang, Galeria Perdana. Category B is Pantai Cina, Pantai Pasir Hitam, Pantai Pasir Tengkora, and Pantai Tanjuru. Category C is Langkawi Wildlife Park and Bird Paradise, Langkawi Kebeka, Underwater World Langkawi, Telaga Harbour Marina, Island Hopping, and lastly for category D is Complex Craft Langkawi, Langkawi Night Market, HIG Shopping Complex, and Ida Mansuri. So for the model formulation, this is the general formulation uh, before we formulate it using the data that we got. Uh, so this is the objective function which we aim to minimize the cost. So C denote here is uh, the cost which is variable cost. And then we, uh, for the objective function we will find the summation of the listed places together with the uh, total variable cost. So C denote here is uh, variable cost. So this is the constraint uh, where we need to fulfill the cost, this constraint in order to formulate this uh, formulation, which first is visiting each node to and from once only. It means that for the places listed, uh, we can only visit the places once only. And for the second constraint is for each category, must visit at least one places. As mentioned before, there is four categories. Uh, it means that for each categories A, B, C, and D, we need to visit at least one places inside the category. And then third one is limitation of times, and we calculated it in hours because uh, as uh, stated in the scope of study, which this study is conducted for, is, uh, is calculated for three days to night three, which each for each day we only took the 12 hours. So for three days, it consists of 36 hours. And the fourth uh, concern is personal preference, which we calculated in percentage. We we will be collecting data to ask the respondents interest in going for each places in percentage, and we will collect it and put into our model. So after collecting data, this is the result, and we're gonna discuss it. Uh, what is it all about? Which first the objective function. As mentioned from the previous slide, which is in methodology, C is the total variable cost. So after we collecting the data, we, uh, we can calculate the variable cost, which the coefficient inside this formulation, like 92.4, 48.6, and all these are the total of variable cost for this traveling problem. So we want to minimize this objective function and this is the constraint first but, uh, which uh, that we say that we want to visit each node we need to visit each node once only so it means that for each listed places we can only visit less than one less or equal than one it means that we can't visit once or we don't vis visit at all so for the second uh, concern is for each category must visit at least one places so it means that this x x a1 plus x a2 plus x a3 plus x a4 must be, uh, be greater than or equal to 1. It cannot be 0 because we need to visit at least one places. So same goes to each category, which is category B, category C, and category D. And for the limitation of time, after recollecting the data throughout the questionnaire, we ask for the for each places to the respondent, how long will they spend in in that place? For each place, how long will they spend? They spend? So we calculated the average of time and we substitute it as our coefficient for this constraint. So for category A, uh, that they want to go, the average is 0 0.6 hours for XA1 plus 0.5 XA2 for second places and one hour for XA3 and 0 0.6 hour for XA4 which we uh, listed for each category cannot be more than 9 hours 
it cannot be more than or equal to nine hours. So for the every categories, we do the same thing. We calculate the average, and this is a uh, limitation which cannot exceed nine hours. So for the point, uh, for the point constraint is personal preference in percentage. So 0 0.11, 0 0.09, all these coefficient inside uh, is the percentage average percentage of their preference or their interest in going for that listed places and cannot more or exceed one which means one is hundred percent so we convert the percentage into decimal and this is the result that we got to minimize the cost so it is considered as our alternative suggestion for the people want to move there in order to minimize the variable cost uh, which after you solve, solve it using access over, we found out that uh, it suggests us that go to XA3, which is the Taran Helang, XB2, which is Pantai Pasir Gitam, XC4, Telaga Harbour, and XD3, which is HIG Complex. By going to each places, uh, it means that we can uh, minimize the total variable cost. And after calculating it, we found out that the total variable cost for these uh, this places suggested is 82 ringgit and 80 cent. So as for the conclusion, the result obtained showed that in order to minimize the total cost of traveling, uh, the distance, the places and budgets play an important role during travel. And this result generated a tour using integer programming. Um, but it can be... Uh, go through an investment heuristic which uh, we can apply to enhance the quality of the, uh, the tool generated uh, by using two option uh, two op and three op exchange heuristic uh, and then we can also use uh, meta heuristic techniques such as taboo search or simulated handling utilization utilizing and that's all from us thank you